Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fernando. I am a licensed professional civil engineer in the state of Texas, and I created this channel with the intention of helping current undergraduate students figure out what their career can look like post-graduation, and also help coach young professionals figure out what their next steps are in their career. Today I'm going to be bringing a video with the intention of sharing things that you can do uh, to land a full-time position if you did not get any internship experience, engineering internship experience, uh, prior to graduation. So I, know, I, understand, I completely understand that the, everybody's life is different, everybody's involvement is different, but these are just three things that you can do to gain, gain some valuable experience to put on your resume so that whenever you do graduate, uh, you're going to be more of a, a better candidate for companies who are looking out there for engineers and also just to become a better, more well-rounded individual uh, who can who can pursue better opportunities right once they graduate. So one of them is is joining organizations when you're involved in school, uh, specifically in leadership opportunities. So why are leadership opportunities important? Well, one, it looks good to be a leader, but two, it really helps you develop those critical skills that are important when you graduate, right? So what are some of those skills? Uh, one of them is strategic thinking, right? Really thinking about the importance of the the, the steps that you take in. Um, so I'm gonna give you an example, right? It's better to explain it that way. So let's just imagine that you become a chapter president for an organization and it's your responsibility to oversee some of the key partnerships and key relationships that you make in your chapter. Uh, so what, what could those could look like? Well, they can be thinking about the organizations that you partner with in on campus, uh, You know, really thinking about long-term, hey, what are some of the events that we can do together to really figure out how we can be successful together in the future and years to come? Another one in key partnerships can be joining with with companies uh, on uh, companies who sponsor your events, right? So you, you're being thoughtful of the idea, okay, you know what, what if we were to develop a partnership with a company who's going to sponsor a tailgate and who's going to sponsor um, some sort of career night and we're able to do all of those things if in turn we we give them resumes, right? So again, it's, it's a transaction. That is a, an example of being a strategic thinker. And thinking about the partnership and the, the key the key relationships that you're making and thinking about the future. Uh, another one is public speaking, right? So again, as you're having those conversations with people, you're building your public speaking skills. Because public speaking is not just speaking in front of a group of people, but it's knowing how to sell yourself, it's knowing how to sell your ideas, it's knowing how to sell yourself in an interview. So again, these are all ways for you to build your public speaking skills. And so that takes me to bullet number three, and, uh, and what leadership skills you can develop in becoming a leader, and that's knowing the difference between influence versus authority. When you graduate college, it's critical for you to know the difference between authority and influence because if you don't know the difference in, in the two, it's gonna be very hard for you to sell your ideas, your new projects, your new programs, because you're gonna have to rely on people, telling them people, if you don't do this, then that's going to happen. And that's that's not the way things work, right? That's not developing influence, that's just relying on authority. So it's again, really, really important for you to know the difference when you graduate college. Uh, another thing is like, if you, don't, if you don't get the opportunity to become a leader in an organization, then really think about different programs that you can join, right? So I know the university sometimes do 5Ks, uh, again, it could be through an organization, but thinking about different programs like that are gonna help you develop certain skills. It's going to also help you build your network, right? So it's really important for you to think about, you know, what programs can you join uh, or what organizations you can join to build some of these skills. Now, if you don't get a chance to do one or the other because you're working somewhere else or you're, you're very focused on your school and you just don't see the opportunity to get involved, uh, which I would highly encourage you to do so, but the other option is to just really get involved in your class projects, right? So everyone's going to be working on a class project in different classes but it's important for you to try to take on a leadership role in that class project. Uh, it's important for you to really think about the idea of how do I build that public speaking? How do I build strategic thinking? How do I build influence in my projects? Because again, whenever you go to an interview and someone asks you, you know, tell me about a time you worked in a difficult, uh, with a difficult person. Tell me about a time when you had to overcome adversity. If you don't know, if you don't have stories for you to go and gravitate to, you don't have stories to share with them, you're gonna to have to either share life experiences, which are really important, right? But the other one is, is school projects. And so take advantage of the fact that you're doing these projects already, right? Be mindful of the results that you're driving, of the actions that you're taking, uh, the, the different tasks that you're associated with. And uh, you'll know, be mindful how you're gonna sell that whenever you do talk to recruiters because it's important for you to be able to sell the, the things that you did. Uh, because if you're not able to do so, then what do you bring to the table other than your degree, 
Uh, I know that's important, but at the end of the day, everyone who's applying for that job is going to bring a degree. What sets you apart from them? So it's, again, really important for you to think about those things. Uh, another thing that you can be working on if you don't have your internship experience or engineering experience in your resume is your network, right? Think about the painful, yeah, you already know, and think about the people that you don't know and who you want to meet, right? So what do I mean by that? Uh, be mindful of what you want your career to look like. If you want to go into real estate, then be mindful of what organizations can I join right now? What uh, networks, what people can I meet that are involved in real estate? Go on LinkedIn, do some searches. Uh, you know, tap into your friends and do some searches there. You know, figure out like what areas do you want to get involved with? Because again, as I share with you about organizations, be mindful that you can do both at the same time. So if you really like volleyball or you really like soccer and you want to build your network, you can go and do a, a rec league in your college uh, with your friends or you can be mindful of like, you know what? I want to build a better network in the civil engineering world. So I'm going to go join the American Society of Civil Engineers and I'm going to join their rec league in the organization. You can play soccer and you can do volleyball or whatever else you want to play while at the same time building your network in that area because hopefully you're able to meet an upperclassman who graduates, gets a job, but you already build a relationship with them that you can tap into when you go and pursue you know, your search for a full-time position. So again, be mindful of the people that you're meeting and be mindful of the people that you have not gotten a chance uh, to meet. Uh, the other one is, you know, again, some people tell me, Fernando, like, they, there's just no way for me to get involved. Like, there's just too much going on. I have to pay the bills. Again, I get it. I was in the same situation. I, I worked a bunch of different jobs in college. I was a mentor. I was a tutor. Uh, I worked at Walmart. I worked at Vector Marketing, which essentially I was knocking door to door selling knives. Uh, I was even a bouncer at a club. Like, these are all things that that I did in college uh, that were not related to engineering at all. But all of those things gave me skills that I can use today and that I used when I graduated from college uh, to apply for those full-time positions. So again, be mindful, think about the bigger picture, right? Like, yes, you may work at Walmart and all you did was push carts. Yes, you may, you know, may have worked in the warehouse pushing boxes, but you build critical skills in working those jobs. You knew how to effectively work in teams. You were on time. You have a strong work ethic. These are all skills that you have to be able to sell to people versus just saying, oh, I worked at Walmart, like no big deal. Like, no, like try to really figure out like what are the things that you learn in working there because those are the ones that are going to set you apart when you go apply for a job because somebody can just do like physical labor and call it good or someone can say, you know what, I did landscaping and while I worked in landscaping, I was able to oversee clients and I oversaw accounts and I oversaw accounting and I oversaw payments. These are all things that you did working in a landscaping company or you can just say I cut a bunch of lawns, right? There's a difference in all these different things. Those are things that you can do right now to build your resume and may not go back to engineering experience, but at the end of the day, it's work experience and that's what's important. Uh, if you guys didn't see the last video, I created a mentorship guide for you guys to download and for you, for you guys to take the next steps in finding a mentor. Uh, you guys can find the link below. So make sure you, you guys subscribe, write your comments, send me some messages, let me know how I can help, and I hope you guys are well. Take care.